Hi, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Nothing is going to happen this episode. No, I'm serious. Nothing is going to happen this episode. Um, it is probably going to consist almost entirely of me exploring Rustboro City because I have to do this at some point. So if you want to watch it for the story, or if you want to watch it to see what's in Rustboro City, then you can go ahead and watch it. But if you don't, then feel free to skip to the next one, by which point I will have decided whether or not I'm grinding now, healing now, or going straight on to doing the next thing, which is not challenging the gym yet, because there is still one more event that I have to do. Okay, so, um, I went ahead and I put the, um, full heal from Zigzagoon that, um, the first Zigzagoon that, um, Ginkgo picked up. I put that in the Pokemon Center, but it looks like Lily has another item. So that's a Super Potion. I'm putting that in my PC now, because... I don't really like the idea of carrying that around and being tempted by it, especially since I know that I have one super potion that is legitimate, so... Wrong box! Marina's PC. I'm going to deposit an item, and it is going to be exactly one super potion. So I do have that one super potion that is legitimate that I found in the patch of grass earlier today. Okay, talking to people. Has a naive nature. See, I told you already about what natures do. Jolly nature is a pretty good one. It's plus speed, minus special attack, I believe? It's good for, um, physical sweepers, which... But, okay. Um, it's good if you want your Pokemon to be fast while still retaining attack power. Best for, um, physical-type Pokemon. Or Pokemon that mostly attack using physical moves. I don't remember what's in here. It is a multi-leveled building. Um, she has a Skitty. Uh, Devon Corporation's workers. Devon Corporation is... Um, where that guy from Impetalburg Woods, not the Team Aqua guy, the guy that, um, got his package stolen, got the, uh, package, got the package stolen from him. What's this? Okay, so he gives you a Pokeball. So, it usually is useful to check in all these random buildings that you find in the, um, cities, because there are a couple of HMs that you get that way. I know the Rock Smash HM in particular you get just by talking to a random guy in a house, and... He says, if I remember correctly, you look pretty strong. Here, have this HM. We'll get we'll get to that guy um, a little bit down the road, assuming I do not die before then, which I'm sure is a very real possibility, but... I would be running, but you can't run in buildings, so I'm sorry about that. Um, there are a couple more houses that are pretty interesting, including Pokemon that I'm not going to use. This house belongs to Determined Expression, that limber way you move, and your well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say a word. I'm sure that you will be capable. Do you see what I mean? There are a couple of times when you can just get an HM by walking inside some random guy's house and talking to him. He thinks my Pokemon are worthy of the HM, even though I'm just such a newbie and my highest Pokemon is of level 15. I am clearly worthy of putting this HM to good use. The stone badge being the badge that you get from this very city. Also, his name is The Cutter, which um, tells me that Nintendo couldn't come up with a good name for him. There are other HM guys who are named similarly. There's the Rock Smash guy. Uh, what do these guys do? Pokemon changes shape. They're talking about evolution, which I have, I think, tangentially mentioned. When your Pokemon reaches a high enough level, or some of them have to be traded, it will actually change shape, change stats, occasionally change types, and generally become better. However, the price that it pays for this is learning moves later than it would have otherwise, or if you use a special item called an Evolution Stone, you can trigger the Pokemon's evolution at whatever level you like, but that particular method comes at the cost of most Pokemon never lo never learning another move again after you use the stone to evolve them. This is the trainer school. Why am I here? Because I think he gives you an item. He gives you Quick Claw in some of these. Yep, here we go. Quick Claw. So I've talked to you a bit before about items based on telling you that I'm not going to use the items that Zigzagoon picks up off the ground, but this is the first of what is known as as, is known as a hold item. It is an item that you can give to a Pokemon to cause various effects. The Quick Claw, if you give it to a Pokemon, it will occasionally cause that Pokemon to move first when it would otherwise have moved second. I'm just going to give it to Ginkgo because I don't have any particularly slow Pokemon at, on me at the moment. This blackboard contains descriptions of the status conditions that may afflict Pokemon. I'm not going to look at it right now, but I can explain them to you briefly. 
poison is you take um, a small amount of damage every turn in battle, or when you're walking around you take one hit point of damage every couple of steps. Burn is you take a slightly larger amount of damage per turn in battle, but none while you're walking around and your attack is cut in half while you're burned. Freeze and Sleep are similar, they both leave you temporarily disabled and unable to move for a certain number of turns. And Paralysis is... Um, it's an electric type thing. It cuts your speed in fourth. It makes your speed one fourth of what it was previously and gives you a one in four chance every turn of being unable to move. So of these, Poison is the scariest one for me right now because then my Pokemon will die and unavoidably unless I'm close enough to a Pokemon Center or have a Poison Healer antidote on me. But in battle, Sleep is probably the scariest because there are a lot of moves that cause it and... It prevents you from doing anything for a couple of turns, which often leads to your Pokemon dying, especially if you're in sort of a high-stakes situation with opponent Pokemon with strong moves bearing down on you. So these guys, I don't really think they do anything, but I'm just going to talk to them for your guys' sake, because if you are watching this video, then that, then that means that you are interested in the backstory, at least vaguely, so you will be interested in seeing what they have to say. Maybe, or something like that. I forget what this house has in it, but it's in a little garden-y thing, so can't be that. Um, Droll. Well, it is. Nothing happened. Okay. Roxanne, I've complained about many times, being the first gym leader who uses rock types, which are weak to ground, fighting, water, and grass type moves. Note the water type moves that I have. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Ground, fighting, Steel, water, and ground fighting, steel, water, and grass. It's all the types that rock is weak to, but you can't actually um, get all of those types by this point in the game. I think the only ones that you're that it's possible for you to get by this t point are grass, water, and fighting. I have water. I will have fighting very shortly, as I believe I have mentioned to you, because Torchic is very, very close to an point of transformation. Spoiler alert. Um, we'll probably see that in the next episode, because I'm not going to do anything important this episode, such as possibly train him up. Okay, have you taken the Pokemon Gym Challenge? This is the Pokemon Gym. When I go inside of it, I am not allowed to leave until I have beaten all of the trainers and the gym leader in one go. If I die, and all of my Pokemon faint, then I will start over using entirely different Pokemon, because all my Pokemon will then be dead and need to be released. House here. What's in this house? Do you nickname your Pokemon? See, here is a way to get a fighting type move to deal with the um, first gym if you just happen to be completely screwed and caught a slack off in um that forest back there, Petalburg Woods, which we didn't see any, but it's a Pokemon that can be found in there. And you can trade it for his Makuhita if you are absolutely desperate, Makuhita being a fighting type Pokemon. And then you can get a super effective move to use on the first gym, should all else fail. So that's just a, so that's just a helpful tip if you are absolutely finding it impossible to beat this first gym. Which, well, I will admit that I don't find it to be that easy of a gym, so... It's definitely a thing to keep an eye out for. Running shoes. This is the Devon Corporation, it is the headquarters of... That guy who got robbed in the forest back there. Um, this is all that we're allowed to see at this point. Eventually we will get to explore the rest of it. But for now, we will not. Um, that should be all there is to see in Rustboro. Except for... Event is... Not now. The event is not now. Um, this is technically another route. Except for there's no grass up here, and there's only an item up here, an item that... Yeah, I'm just gonna get it. It's not illegitimate to get this. There's a super potion up here that you can get, and that's the only reason you would come up here yet. I'm going to break with my normal rule about um, completing the entire route in one go, just because, as you can see, I can't hop up this ledge. I can only hop down the ledges. I can't actually go up this, so it's impossible for me to complete the rest of the route. This is all that is available to us at this moment. So I will get the Super Potion, and I will not feel illegitimate about it, because this is the point in the game where that Super Potion is supposed to be given to us. Now... East from here is where we are supposed to go, because at the end of this, there is another event involving 
team. Wait. I'm full of lies. Let's not until after you beat the first gym. There are more trainers and opportunities for two new Pokemon to the right, to the, I guess, east of here, which is where I will eventually be going before I challenge the first gym. But for now, I think I've done everything there is to do in Rustbar City. So, it's been good, guys. I'm sorry nothing interesting happened, but I told you that nothing interesting would happen. So, until next time, this has been Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Um, thank you again for watching. On our next, um, jaunt episode, I will possibly challenge the gym, but probably not. Okay, I will see you then.